Welcome back to Bernama today. We talked about a little bit about, about Bernama, and this is uh, in conjunction with our 45th anniversary. Every week we'll be bringing someone in to talk uh, or say a little something about Bernama, what they do within Bernama. In the meantime, let's talk about cars. And uh, coming up very soon is the second annual Malaysia International Custom Culture Show, The Art of Speed. And in the studios with me, uh, we have Asip Ahmad, who's from Art of Speed Malaysia. Asip, a very good morning to you and welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, man. Well, Thanks uh, for it, having us. Uh, it sounds very interesting. Yeah. Uh, art of Speed, you know, I, I, yeah. I like anything that starts with art. <laughs> so, you know, where do we begin with this, this whole event? It's uh, the second annual mm -hmm. event, and I do understand that the first one was a very successful event. Yeah, um, essentially Art of Speed is about uh, the convergence between art mm -hmm. uh, and automotive. Right. Uh, so for Art of Speed, our focal point is not just about cars, mm -hmm. bikes, which are cool in themselves, mm -hmm. but also we include a art gallery. Right. For last year at Publica, where we had it there, mm -hmm. uh, we had a uh, art gallery set up with artists from Indonesia, from Malaysia, mm -hmm. uh, from Singapore, uh, from Japan uh, showcasing their artworks. Mm -hmm. So this year at Chita Mall, uh, we're doing uh, the same thing. Uh, we have a outdoor marquee mm -hmm. set up, mm -hmm. which is 100 feet long by 45 feet long, the biggest single structure there, uh, okay. housing uh, uh, great artists from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, just, just before you, I forget, uh, don't forget that it's happening mm -hmm. on the 8th and 9th of June. Yeah, we'll yeah. be giving you more details as we go along. Mm -hmm. Coming back to the first one, they said that the response was good. You know, when you say that a response at an event like this is mm -hmm. good, how do you gauge it? Um, from the quality of our guests and mm -hmm. the sheer number. Right. Last year, we attracted about 15,000 people. Mm -hmm. And this year, we're expecting about 30,000. And when I say quality, uh, we have a custom show competition. Right. And this year, we have participants from uh, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, Honda Indonesia is sending three custom bikes, right. all factory-sponsored. Right. And that just goes to show that uh, this lifestyle element that's in automotive is something significant. Mm -hmm. And uh, people are going out of their own country to, uh, to, to fight it out. You know? right. yeah. So if you're in a blur as to what a custom competition is mm. we're going to find out now because <laughs> I don't quite know how it works too. <laughs> yeah. So uh, custom competition is where we gather the best mm -hmm. of uh, cars and bikes. Mm -hmm. um, we do a pre-selection via uh, online registration so they submit pictures so if they go through the first process of uh, vetting mm -hmm. they get to display their cars or bikes at the show right. and we have a panel of judges mm -hmm. uh, which includes uh, magazine editors, uh, people in the scene, Locals? local mm -hmm. and foreign. Mm -hmm. uh, this year we've invited uh, Moon Eyes Japan. It's mm -hmm. a 60-year-old hot rod company based in US and operations in Japan as well. So mm -hmm. they're coming over to be part of the uh, event and also to judge our custom show competition. Right, right. Yeah. And, and how do you work a collaboration with these people or, or, or sort of the understanding or a signing of an MOU as, uh, of sorts to yeah. get an event like this happening? It's usually a spit on the hand and a good handshake. Like. Uh, spit on the hand. <laughs> yeah, the, but it's the old yeah. Way. Yeah. Mm. So, but for mm. us, it's about community. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, custom culture is a global community. Right. Uh, so, uh, anywhere we go, uh, we we network. We create friends more importantly mm -hmm. so uh, even for our friends from Japan they pay their own way to mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. and this again is they're paying their own way yeah. to come see yeah. you, you come up <laughs> with an event invite lots of people yeah. and people pay their own yeah. way here yeah. now how, how better to celebrate <laughs> life huh? yeah mm -hmm. it's it's mm -hmm. real support we've got a band mm -hmm. from Japan uh, I didn't really know about them but right. through Moon Eyes mm -hmm. uh, when they hear the name Moon Eyes Japan is coming over they say okay we'll play for the show, for free, right, right. And, and six of them. And, and well, what's your inclination towards art now that you're merging art and mm. speed together? Why, why is that? Um, it's, I guess it's synonym with the whole custom culture mm -hmm. uh, scene, you know. Um, we customize things, it's a form of rolling art. Right. So uh, a lot of us guys, you know, we feel that what we're doing is art. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. But sometimes our understanding of art uh, is only to a certain extent because we're right. not educated right. in art. So by merging and bringing professional artists in and showcasing works uh, in sculpture, in canvas, mm -hmm. in airbrushing, in pinstriping, uh, I think it opens up Malaysians to more uh, 
to better understanding like, of right. what art is. Right. Uh, you, know, you can, yeah, yeah. That's that's really it. Well, mm. if you're thinking to yourself as to what a load of cockamamie the, this is <laughs> when when you talk about art, pinstriping is yeah. not art. It's not Picasso and all that. Yeah. See, a lot of people who got into art in the '80s were people who were enthralled by looking at graffitis and graffimas yeah. and how they yeah. worked. And yeah. then you know these yeah. people you know were the stepping uh, stepping mm. stone for uh, people mm. in Malaysia or some of my friends to get into art. Mm. And they're now actually full on artists. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and when when it, when it comes to pinstriping and painting and all mm. this artwork mm. that's happening there. Mm. Do people get to get uh, learn a little bit about yeah. it? Yeah, uh, uh, our art gallery is more of a workshop, an uh -huh. art workshop. Fantastic. Yeah, so yeah. you, you uh, we've got guys uh, using recycled material to mm -hmm. make lampshades. It's not just uh, how do you say automotive skewed. Uh, we have things that you can make yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the pinstripe of uh, artists, of course, from Indonesia, from uh, Singapore. Uh, leather tooling guys mm. who make uh, wow, amazing yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so that is uh, the things that uh, the public can enjoy. And on top of that, of course, we have our grandiose uh, up, uh, items, you know, right. attractions uh -huh. uh, like our Hot Wheels uh, right. installation. Mm. Uh, if you go to Toys R Us, mm -hmm, you know the mm -hmm. small Hot Wheel toys, right. the packaging. Right. We're blowing that up to mm -hmm. a one-to-one -one scale, so you wow. can drive your car in, take a picture, mm -hmm, and have mm -hmm. that in memoriam, lah. Oh, and wow. uh, also we have the Eleanor car from mm -hmm. Gone in 60 Seconds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. We have a real hot rod. I think the only time... Is this the real Eleanor or...? Real Eleanor. The yeah. real Eleanor. She's yeah. coming? Yes, she's coming. Oh, wow. And then we have the hot rod. Uh, mm -hmm. We've only seen it, I think, in uh, TV. Right. You know, I don't think a lot of us have actually seen uh, wait, one wait, in wait, person. Before we continue, Gone mm -hmm. in 60 Seconds, for those of you who didn't watch it or <laughs> watched it and was upset with... Uh, what's his face? Uh, the actor? Uh, Nicholas Cage. Uh, Nicholas Cage. <laughs> well, the car... The, the cast uh, spoke for itself. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. a star. It was Eleanor a star. is going to be here. Yeah. That's happening on the 8 and 9. You can mm -hmm. go to, Can you take a picture of Eleanor? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you can go wow. have a close look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at Chita Mall, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, Aradamansara. It's on the way to Subang Airport. Mm -hmm. And again, the hot rod uh, we're bringing in from Bangkok. It's a real fledged American hot rod. Mm -hmm. uh, a bit rusted out, but it's a sight for sore eyes, that one. Well, yeah. if you just joined us on the show, we're currently speaking to Asib Ahmad yeah. uh, from The Art of Speed. We're yeah. talking about the second annual Malaysia International Custom Culture Show. Uh, well, it's uh, going to be a fantastic show simply because mm. there's a lot happening and apparently a lot's happening there when we say a lot's happening for the whole family. Yes, you Bring correct. your family there, you can spend yeah. a day there. Yeah, we got a, a, a skateboard competition, mm -hmm. we have b-boy competition, we have a graffiti artists, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they, they walk out, uh, uh, district district is doing the uh, right. whole. Uh, I, I may just I may just want to go for the whole b boy thing. Yeah, you know? uh, bring <laughs> the, the whole eighties crew. Correct, yeah. <laughs> please do. So we've got that. We've got a concert mm -hmm. uh, featuring eighteen bands. Right, eighteen bands. Yeah, okay. eighteen bands, and we've got a uh, pre party. We've got everything happening, and you can get the details at uh, www. Mm -hmm. dot, uh, .com. So everything is there. Triple W dot Art of Speed My. No. Artispeedmy.com. You'll get yeah. all the details yeah, you yeah, need about yeah. that. Well, we we spoke about the highlights mm -hmm. and everything that's happening there. Yeah. You know, when you go to an event like this, a lot of people go to festivals and say, oh, "Food's not good." Yeah. You know, wh 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 when it comes to catering, of course, people are bringing yeah. the kids are going to worry yeah, about food. Yeah. And are, are there going to be yeah. you know enough stalls selling good yeah. food? Uh, to keep kids entertained while dads uh, mm. uh, drool away watching cars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We've done a lot. Uh, we've taken part in a lot of events, and mm. again, uh, when you do something at Bukit Jalil or something like that, you know, where it's away from amenities, it's very hard. Toilets are not clean, especially. Right. Uh, so that's why we always Oof. have done it <laughs> yeah. in shopping malls. Yeah. So this year we've uh, decided to do it at Chita Mall, where you have clean toilets, mm. you got uh, facilities for those who want to pray, mm. you've got restaurants ranging from Bubba Gum to mm. Chili's mm. to McDonald's to Papa Rich. So I think it caters for everyone, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, there's an also I think a mini golf place up mm -hmm. upstairs. So it's it's really conducive for me anyway mm -hmm. to do a large event there because I think it yeah everybody's catered for you know there's no worry about food or parking even parking for visitors there's 800 park, car park lots right. for visitors mm -hmm. so that, I think that's more than enough. So yeah. Cheetah Mall it's happening mm -hmm. on the 8th and 9th of June mm -hmm. uh, a good two days 
of a great fun. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, definitely. A and when you talk about the event, you suddenly you know light up, <laughs> uh, we, we, which only means <laughs> say, oh, is only indicative of the fact that yeah. uh, you're enjoying what yeah, you're doing. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. and, and when it comes to uh, people working with you mm -hmm. or your team mm -hmm. uh, handling the event mm -hmm. uh, on the ground, how many people? Uh, are out there working for uh, The core team comprises of about six people. Mm. And these are the real core uh, guys. Mm. Uh, but on site, uh, you'll see probably about 20 people mm -hmm. managing traffic, managing uh, people's requirements, etc. Et mm. uh, we've got people from Rela, of course, helping us out with any emergencies. So uh, I think more or less everything is covered. Right. Yeah. So very quickly, it's happening mm. on the 8th and 9th. If you need more information, log on to www artofspeedmy.com artofspeedmy.com that's mm. artofspeedmy.com and you'll get all the information mm. you need about this fantastic event it's called <laughs> the second annual Malaysia International Custom Culture Show yeah. your take home message with regards to attending this event I think uh, it's, it'll be an eye opener for mm. all Malaysians you know live uh, live the dream live what you see on TV yeah. you know it's uh, art and uh, the things that you see, what they've done on TV, it, it can be achieved. And Malaysia has the skills. Mm -hmm. People in the region can deliver your dream. Right. So you don't have to watch it on TV. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do it here. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, as Asip said, yeah. I went skydiving. I went Rocky Mountain yeah. climbing. I yeah. went uh, 2.7 seconds on a bull named Fu Manchu. <laughs> Live the dream, man. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. Asip, for joining us yeah. on the show. All the best and Thank congratulations. You, Appreciate it. Uh, we hope to be there with the B-Boys crew, of course. <laughs> and if you need more information about yeah. the uh, second annual Malaysia International Custom Culture Show, log on to www.artofspeedmy.com and you'll get all the information. On behalf of the Bernama Today team, I'm Jared Rutnam. We'll be back tomorrow with more for you on Bernama Today. You have a great day ahead. Stay with us. Thanks.